Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the assembly video for the 3D printed Airsoft SP-81 flare gun replica. It works with gas shotgun shells like PPS Airsoft or APS. The name of the printed files is displayed on the top right corner, and the additional hardware is displayed on the bottom left corner. Start by preparing your dummy hammer. Take an M3 by 10 mm socket head cap screw. The type and the dimensions of this screw are really important for the correct functioning. Put your screw in the smaller hole of the hammer and thread it all the way in. Now your hammer should look like this, with the screw protruding about 1mm on each side. 1mm on the screw head and 1mm on the screw tip. Take an ordinary rubber band, cut it, and make a knot on one of the ends. Cut the excess rubber band. Put the rubber band through the slot of the hammer. The knot should go into its designated recess. Put the hammer into its slot into the frame. The tip of the screw should fit into the hole. Route the rubber band through the channel in the hammer. Take your printed elastic cap, the small cylinder with notches. Fit the rubber band in the deeper notch. Files are available for download on my Colts 3D profile, link in the video description. Put the elastic cap over the round hole in the frame and stretch the rubber band. Push the elastic cap into its place to lock the rubber band and cut off the excess. The tensioned rubber band should now let the hammer return to its initial position. Take the frame connector. It is the small triangle prism. Put it into the triangular hole of the middle back frame. Now prepare your firing pin. I cut a 2 by 15 millimeters pin from a pop rivet shaft. Take your pin and press it in the small hole of the printed part. Firing pin assembly into its designated slot of the frame, with the metal part going through the small hole of the breech face. Make sure it slides freely without binding.
Let's put together the trigger assembly. The trigger has a print in place sear for the hammer. Hammer and the latch should come together like this, with the latch through the trigger groove. Get your trigger pin. Take note that the trigger pin is slightly thicker than the other one that you have printed. Put it through both trigger and latch to hold them together. Take a 6 by 20 mm spring. If you can't find one, you can use a pen spring. It will work just fine. Put it into the trigger assembly like this. Take the middle front part of the frame and fit it with the frame pin, the thinner of the two 3D printed pins. Now let's assemble the barrel. Take the extractor and put it into the slot on the bottom part of the barrel. The notched part should point towards the inside of the barrel, that is the part that will grab on the shell's rim. Lock it in place with an M3 by 8mm socket head cap screw. An M3 by 5mm will work too. Length is not critical as long as it does not get out on the other side of the barrel assembly. Do not over tighten. Screw it in until it is flush with the surface of the barrel, and make sure that it lets the extractor to slide freely in and out. Take an M3 by 5 mm socket cap head screw and thread it in the small hole on top of the trigger. This is a tight fit. The hole is undersized because it needs to keep the screw secure, as the screw cap will be the part that pushes the firing pin forward. Make sure the screw does not get out on the other side. Take the right part of the frame and put it together to the middle part. You will find the corresponding triangular hole for the connector. Put your trigger assembly in the frame. The screw cap on the trigger should fit into the firing pin slot and the trigger pin into its corresponding hole on the right side of the frame. The spring should be slightly tensioned. Now the trigger should be free to be pulled towards the back and the latch should be able to pivot forward. Put the middle front part of the frame in front of the trigger.
Get the ring part and put it in the rectangular hole in the middle part of the frame. You can use it to attach a lanyard, but it also helps with the alignment of the different parts of the frame. At this point you must align all the pins and holes and make sure that they are fully seated. Squeeze the frame together. Take an M3 by 20mm socket head cap screw and put it through the bottom most hole in the frame from the left side. Screw it in until it gets flush with the right side of the frame. Take the right scale and align it with the holes in the frame. Make sure that the trigger pin is pushed all the way in. Tighten the screw a few more turns. The screw cap should stick out of the frame about one millimeter. Align the holes again and fix the scale in place using an M4 by 10 millimeters countersunk head screw. The left scale has a hole that fits over the screw head. Fix the scale in place using an M4 by 10mm countersunk head screw, the same as on the other side. Now test the functioning of the hammer and the other parts. The hammer is just for the design, it cocks and gets released at the press of the trigger, but it does not hit anything. The firing pin moves forward and back at the same time with the trigger. Now it's the time to attach the barrel. Put it in its place and fit the pivot through the holes in the frame and barrel. The pivot must be inserted from the right side. Secure the pivot, use an M3 by 15mm countersunk head screw. You can use shorter screws, but the longer screw reinforces the pivot's strength. Put your screw through the little 3D printed cap, then screw the whole assembly into the pivot. You can back the pivot a little bit, so you can hold it. The first time you put the screw in, it will cut threads into the inner part of the pivot.
Now the assembly of your SP-81 flare gun replica is complete. You can test if it works properly. Push the latch forward and swing the barrel up. Check if the barrel locks back in place. Test if the hammer is functioning. Put an airsoft shotgun shell in the barrel and test the extractor. Now fill your shell with gas and test the functioning of the trigger assembly and the firing pin. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to check the links in the description for more 3D printed airsoft designs.